gun safety bills, and that bought high-powered advocates to mid-Michigan. And it is our top story tonight at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Clever. Tonight, the Michigan Senate is getting ready to vote on a package of bills designed to help reduce gun violence. It's a debate that's been going on for decades. Our Daryl and Horn is here for you now and shows us that both sides are gearing up for a fight. That's, that's right, Siobhan and Sherry. One of the advocates who organized today's rally is former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, who survived gun violence back in 2011 when she was shot in the head. She, along with Michigan Democrats and others who survived school shootings and gun violence, are hoping for real change. He could easily access it, and he used it to kill four of my classmates that day. Safe storage, background checks, and red flag laws are what advocates lined up at the Capitol to support. Let's hear including high school senior Dylan Morris, who witnessed his classmates run for their lives during the mass shooting at Oxford High School. He says if the safe storage law had been put in place, chances are the shooting would not have happened. The moment that the shooter gained access to the unsecured firearm and decided to use it in that hallway, that was the moment that I lost my childhood. Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Attorney General Dana Nessel, Alyssa Slocken, and others who helped create the three new bills that now sit on the desk of Michigan senators stood alongside gun safety advocates join me let's move ahead together like former congresswoman gabby giffords who survived a gunshot to the head more than 10 years ago and has now made gun control advocacy her life's work our lives can change so quickly mine did when i was shot but there was a small group at the rally who opposed the three bills including Leslie Cushing, who says she wants her Second Amendment rights to remain. If, if my sister gets pissed at me and calls and says she's a crazy lady, she's got guns, they come and take my guns, then I have to fight to get them back. And if they want to protect schools, they should arm the teachers. As for students like Morris, he says the only thing kids should be worried about is learning, not active shooter drills. But that's not enough. We shouldn't, um, we shouldn't have to have these measures in place. We should have real preventative solutions. Now the Senate is expected to vote on those three bills sometime tomorrow, so we will bring you the latest as we learn more.